Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is show you how you can use your action camera, your compact camera, your DSLR, your micro four thirds, your camcorder, or even a smartphone as a webcam. There's a lot of good reasons for doing this guys and one of the main reasons is to provide a high quality signal for live streaming, for videos, or even for Skype or conferencing or anything like that. Now what you're looking at just now, what I'm recording with is a Logitech 4K, uh, the 4K Brio. I'm recording right now at 10K at 60 frames per second. My old webcam, this one, the C Logitech C930E. The camera's okay, but you know when you pick up a lot of cameras and you're recording a lot of footage, it seems silly not to give these a try. And there's lots of situations where something that would be very, very useful. For example, I'm recording just now using this webcam, but I could also have another camera situated up there showing behind the shot. So, what do you need to do this? Well, essentially, you need three things. Firstly, you need a camera that has a clean signal going out. Most modern cameras have micro HDMI or HDMI, and they have what's called a clean HDMI out signal. And what that basically means is that when the signal is you know, transferred out using the cable, you're not going to get information on it. There's no overlay, there's no random information or viewfinder, there's nothing like that. It's a clean signal that's being sent out. Second thing you need, capture card. I've got the Elgato HD60S, records at 1080p, 60 frames per second, USB 3.0. I can record at lower resolutions and frame rates if I want. There are a lot of uh, capture cards and game capture cards and you know options like that in the market. I'm not saying that one's the best, I'm saying that one works for me. Look out there, look at reviews and see which one uh, is the best setup for you. You know, you can find ones cheap, you can find ones very expensive. You really need to find one that fits your budget and fits your needs. The third option and the third thing that you need is an adapter. You need something to connect your camera to your capture card. In my case, and for most people that have got modern devices, it will be a micro HDMI to HDMI because most capture cards have HDMI to go in and most modern cameras use micro HDMI to send the signal out. Now, I'm saying for most people because if you have an older camcorder or if you have an older capture card, the cables could be different. It could be mini HDMI, it could be full HDMI, it could be EVI cables. You need to look at what you're recording with, look at what's receiving the signal and then find the appropriate cable. Now, I have went for an adapter rather than a cable. I could have got micro HDMI that goes to the other end and the other end could have been like that. But I've got lots of HDMI cables lying around. I wasn't sure of how long I would need a cable. Seems silly to buy lots of new cables an adapter makes more sense for me because it allows me to basically convert any HDMI cable into a micro HDMI cable. So, very, very easy to do. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do just now if this HDMI cable wasn't tangled around my earphones. <laughs> okay, here's how it works. This is my Elgato HD6, which is 60S, which is recording my mini SNES in all its glory and essentially what I'm going to do is just take the HDMI cable out from the mini SNES and put it into one of my cameras that's it so let's start off with the GoPro I'll switch it on I'm going to turn it off take the signal take the HDMI cable I'm going to take the cable plug it into my adapter and then I'm going to plug the micro HDMI part into my GoPro. So now I'll just have to change something here in the settings. That's it. My GoPro is now recording. And you can hear an echo. It's because it's recording the audio as well. So I'll mute that. So you won't hear the audio anymore. And those were the two webcams that I showed you earlier. This is the Logitech Brio. This is a Logitech C930E. Now, if the footage looks a little bit grainy, it's because the GoPro 6 is quite poor and low light. Now, I'll show you the setup now. This is the Elgato HD60S, and you can see everything's been shown. Quite freaky there. That is being shown in the monitor, but I don't actually need that to be shown. I can take that out. 
That's only if you want to monitor and you know pass the signal through and show it to television, which is what you want sometimes when you're playing games. But here, we don't need that. We don't need that at all. So, simplifies the process. We've got the capture card here, which is the Elgato HD60S in this case, and we've got two cables going out. This cable here is HDMI, and it goes all the way around to here, plugs into my adapter, which is going into my GoPro. The other cable is USB, USB Type-C, and it goes all the way over there, plugs in to my laptop, USB 3.0. That's all there is to it. And this is the software that I'm using, OBS. Very easy to use. Now, what I'm going to do now is take the GoPro out and I'll put in my Sony RX100. Now, I'm using OBS here to record all of this, but every game capture card, every capture card comes with its own software. So you can might, you might want to use the software that it was designed for the, the equipment that you bought. But if not, OBS. But I would suggest trying OBS anyway because it's very, very good. So I've now connected this. I'll just turn it on now and look at that. Look how quick that was. As soon as I powered that on, it was gone. So it's, it, might, it might be out of focus here. Well, it is in focus. Look at that. Every blemish, every wrinkle. That's what happens when you don't have lighting showing that you're not a young puppy anymore. And now this doesn't look like it's a good solution, but think about it. This, this would actually be positioned quite far over there on a tripod and I could talk over there. And, you know, if I set this up, I could talk to the webcam then I can turn around and I can talk around. It gives me a lot more options. It's very, very useful. And again, just to, as a reminder of how easy... All of this is, we have, get in focus you, right, we've got the Elgato HD60, we've got that going to the computer, we've got the HDMI going to the camera, that's it, that's all you need guys, that's all it is. Very, very useful guys, I'm sure a lot of you will find it useful. The makers of the Elgato HD60S, Elgato, also have something called a cam link and it's essentially like a, a dongle, it looks like a Chromecast and it does exactly that. It's something I'll maybe look into in the future. I'll maybe try and test it for you guys. And what it does is essentially allows you to transform any camera into a webcam. Simplifies the profit process. For me, it's a little bit expensive though. It's £120. Um, but if you're doing a professional stream, something maybe you want to look into. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, all you need, clean HDMI, an adapter, game capture card. It's that simple, guys. And it will give you a lot more options when recording, when streaming, or if you just want to be fancy when you're talking to your friends on Skype. If you have any questions about this, please do ask them below in the comment area. If you are already using this kind of setup, you want to share any advice that you've got, any tips, leave a comment below and share them with fellow viewers. Until next time, guys, take care.